Tony. How are you, my man? All right. You're just in time there. I just covered it up before you got in. <laughs> <laughs> Why in trouble? You're in trouble, yeah. <laughs> this is one of the hardest things I've done. Uh, do you want to see it? Well, I think I need to sit on it. That's the final test of... On, I haven't sat in it yet, so... You've you know, not sat in it? No, I don't sit Well, let me show you how to get into it. Go on, it's in a special way. <laughs> Go on, then. Right. That is it. Hey! Hello, mate. What have got for me this time? Craig is definitely the man for the job. There you go. Oh, that's uh, seen better days, hasn't it? Yeah. It's quite easy to get it wrong. It's all right having these ideas in my head and dream having these ideas. But actually putting that into practice and it looking right is very, very difficult. You know, it's furniture that needs a bit of TLC. You know, a dealer's TLC and my TLC is two completely different things. I'm glad you like it. Unbelievable. Nice to meet you. And you. Yeah. Good. Hopefully you'll be up here as when I pull off Good. this. Let's see. Yeah, lovely. It's a bit of a state. What do you mean but... a bit? <laughs> it looks like somebody's been eating it by the looks of it. So. Well, I was worried that you were going to say this. What I love about it, classic Edwardian shows, walnut, all the nice little turned spindles at the yeah. back. Reclining end. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know what? That was the most thing I liked about it. And I'm really what, this broken end? Yeah. Yeah, really... you know, it needs some TLC, you know, to the extreme. Nervously excited. Good. Well, I hope you like it. <laughs> well, do you know what? I can tell it you feel strong already. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, let's have a look. I get more satisfaction from seeing either a dealer's face or a, a member of the public's face or a customer, you know, I've reduced people to tears in a nice way in the past. Tony said he's bringing me something over that's uh, an upholsterer's dream, so let's hope it is a dream and not just a nightmare. What I have here yeah. is probably the biggest journey you're ever going on. Right, I don't like the way this is going. So here is the smallest chair in the world with the most upholstery you could ever put on one. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Look at the state of that. <laughs> so what exactly would you like us to do for you, Craig? Well, I'd like you, firstly, if you could, to help me out with putting this onto some new fabric, if I can source new yeah. fabric. And also, this is the back, mm -hmm. which seems quite complete to me. Yeah. The seat is what I'm concerned about. So lots of motifing missing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when I took this cover off, I managed to find it was like a like an imprint on the on the furniture. So I okay. took some photographs. Oh, fantastic. Now I've spoken to Gemma. I know that she's the right person to do this for me. And I've, I've left everything with her. I've left it in safe hands, and I can't wait to see the finished product. Man, You're right. <laughs> what I want you to do right. is imagine you're walking down the street 150 years ago, go into Old Bon Marche's department store, and you see this on the floor. As it would have been. It is absolutely breathtaking. I am just completely speechless. It is exactly as you said, I've just walked into the shop in 1870 and here it is, just been made. As jobs go, this has been one of the most difficult jobs I've done. But, you know, the finished thing has made it all worthwhile. 